If you have two trials and each of them need to hit an alpha level of 0.025 to demonstrate superiority and you're running two trials, many of the times a pharmaceutical company runs two trials that are arbitrarily two trials. It is a very common situation that a sponsor will run those two trials simultaneously. So what does that mean for evidence when both of those need to meet 0.025 and analyzing these as completely independent things? I've always been very uncomfortable with the fact that we analyze these trials this way. Well, there are lots of different data sets you could end up with. If both the trials give you p-values of 0.0001, everybody's happy, there's no questions, we could approve the drug. But often what happens just by random chance is one of them's more convincing than the other. So if you got 0.001 in one of them and you got 0.026 in the other, so now technically you won one and you lost one. Clearly that is better evidence than if you got two 0.024s. So in terms of if you were to analyze them together, do a meta-analysis, combine them in any way you want, 0.001 and 0.026 is better than 2.024s.